What's up guys, James Carter TV, and it's time for my first video. I'm going to do three videos today. I'm, that's right, I'm doing all three uh, videos today. We're starting off with the Denver Broncos. Oh, God. I had the Dallas Cowboys, and um, I mean, wow, what a high-scoring game this was. I mean, this is unbelievable. 51-48 final score, and there was just offense all day long. I think there was like three punts, maybe four punts in total this game. I mean, it was unbelievable. These offenses could not be stopped. It was ridiculous, and wow, Tony Romo is going to be the focus of this game. It's unbelievable. I mean, this guy, 500 yards throwing, and he still can't win the game. He still had a chance to win the game. Now, I'm not going to put it all on Romo, like a lot of people are going to do. I'm not going to do that. Um, But, you know, it sucks because so close. I mean, and on that last drive, you need a field goal, just a field goal. That's all you need. And he can't pull through game-ending interception, not even giving your defense a chance, really. I mean, because they're already in field goal range when the Broncos get the ball. Just terrible. Just awful. Um, You really, really, really got to uh, just be upset if you're a Cowboys fan. I mean, you had a chance. The good thing is you, no one was really expecting you to win this game. I mean, this wasn't a game. You said, okay, we're going to win this game. So not a lot of disappointment, but you were so close to upsetting a big team like the Denver Broncos. But the Cowboys defense needs a lot of work, and I don't understand why. Because, again, I said this last week, they are so talented, and yet this talent doesn't stop anybody. They can't stop anybody. They have DeMarcus Ware, Sean Lee, Morris Claiborne, Brandon Carr, all these names still can't stop anything and it doesn't make any sense these guys it doesn't make any sense it really doesn't Des Bryant really came on in this game that's good to see we know he has top five wide receiver potential and with AJ Green struggling and with Julio Jones up and down Des Bryant is looking more and more like that top five wide receiver uh, right now this season I mean this season it's really hard to debate that um so why right, good good for Des Bryant but Wow, man. I mean, unbelievable. Tony Romo, game-ending interception, basically. Um, and it's just unfortunate because he had 500 yards, four touchdowns. Peyton Manning threw for about 400 yards. He had um, three or four touchdowns. I think four, probably four. Um, but wow. I mean, absolutely amazing. This game was a complete shootout. I've never seen a game like this. I really haven't. I mean, I need to go back to see when the last game this high scoring was because I've never seen a game like this. Have you? I don't think so. Um, Cowboys next week against the uh, Washington Redskins. Huge game. I mean, right now, the NFC East winner is not going to have more than eight games. I mean, I really think the the, the winner of the NFC East is going to be 8-8 eight and eight or 7-9. and nine. I think this division is that bad. Honestly, it's terrible. And the Eagles are now on top of this division, and I can't believe it. I honestly cannot believe it. I can't wait to see these division games. I mean, Eagles, Cowboys, Redskins, Cowboys, these are big games coming up, big divisional games. Who's going to win these games? Uh, New York stinks. This really should have been a year that New York won this division, got back to the playoffs, but they stink. It's unbelievable. I mean, wow, the NFC East is truly the NFC least, and even with the Redskins struggling mightily, if they win next week, they will be right in position to win the NFC East. I mean, that's how bad this division was. I was my Titans were in this division. We'd be on top of this division. Honestly, it's that bad. Um, so there you go. All right, now tonight I am going to be recapping the Texans 49ers game. I will be also recapping the Chargers Raiders game. And then also, you will get me tomorrow for the Atlanta New York game. So you're going to get a lot of videos from me. Um, because I, I wanted to talk about this league. Uh, anybody but the Titans. I mean, I don't want to talk about, I don't want to talk about the Titans. But how about those Dolphins? Let me, let me, let me, let me talk about the Dolphins fans quickly. You know, people hate me and that's fine. Um, but I told you people. I did. I did not tell you people. And we could talk. Let's talk back and forth. Um, I know there's a couple of you. I don't want to say any names, but we have some talking to do because I told you the Ravens were going to go down to Miami and win the game. I was wrong about my Tennessee Titans. Sure, I was wrong. But I can't account for a special team's 
fumble to lose the game. I can't account for that. I'm sorry. The Chiefs offense did nothing against the Tennessee Titans. Nothing. A Jamal Charles touchdown, and that was it. That was it, period. Um, so, I mean, I was close. Dolphins, not really. You got an interception return for a touchdown that was pretty lucky. And um, Ryan Tannehill could not get it done for the quarter. Let's get to talking, you know. Let's get to talking. Anyway, so Texans 49ers coming up next game. Make sure to stay tuned for that. If you want to subscribe, I'm going to put a rotation right there. So go ahead and click that. You can subscribe to this channel for more videos. And the NBA starting up soon. I may make uh, some preview videos for that. James Carter TV, I'm out. Peace. Wow, what a shoot.